Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about ArtNet and assigning outputs to an ArtNet node and kind of configuring that ArtNet node to work best for you. So, on your Titan program, what you're going to have to do is go into your setup, your AVO setup, and go into your network settings. And you can see that I've kind of got a crazy... Uh, crazy IP address going on at the moment. We're going to fix that. But we're also going to show you you can see here that it's the same as the one on the computer, of course. But you can see that when I change it here, I'm going to change it to 2.0.0.1 and save. And you can see that when I change it there, it actually does change it on your computer as well. You can see the subnet mask is the same. Everything is, everything can be controlled from Titan there. So what you're going to want to do after that, you're going to want to go into your DMX settings. And you can see, once you've got your ArtNet node set up, it should automatically show you these universes. Um, once you've got your, once you've got it all addressed correctly there as well. But for the sake of sake of speed we're gonna do this process first so what we're gonna do I'm gonna take this universe 0 which lines up on our elation node to port 1 and I'm gonna assign it to line 1 where we have everything running for for all the videos we made before so on your elation piece or on your on your artnet node I'll say it that way on our elation piece here you can see I've got my DMX output plugged into DMX output 1. I'm going to go in here to your main menu, set your IP address, and right now it's set to 2.0.0.2. So that's right, that's what we need it to be. And this is working as well. It's set to B at the moment, which is fine. 255.255.0.0 that should work and you can see on this one at least you can reconfigure your DMX ports to kinda of do whatever you want we're gonna get back out this is the first one I'm gonna go down to port 8 which is a little weird because they, they assign it you can see the principle is to set to point 0.7 but if you want to, at least on these, you can change that to point zero, which would be my port one, where my DMX output is actually coming from. And now one and eight are mirroring each other, which is kind of cool. Um, a few other things on this piece, you can change the port mode to where you can have it a, as an input and output, a few other different things there. But once you've got all that set up, everything should be working. I'm going to change that back for now for just a second. But everything should be working. And I do have control of my Maverick. It's doing everything I want it to do. And everything's fine there. You can use uh, other separate... You can use other IP addresses, whether it be... Uh, the 192, the 10 dot, the whatever you want to use, but they really recommend that you use the the 2.0.1 to whatever you need to, whatever you want to use there, simply because it, it tends to work better for for this. Um, on your Titan program, if you want to have, say, you want to assign the redundant line here, you can take your Universe 7. And you can take it to line one. You can have multiple, multiple 
ArtNet universes on one line if you want to do it that way. Um, if you want to control two separate outputs of your of your ArtNet node from there, that way you can do that. Um, and again, these can be assigned to any line on any of your Titan Titan consoles, your Avalites consoles. That's a little bit about ArtNet, and uh, hope you have fun. Hope you have fun messing with it.